Um, so I live in a Victorian terrace, which is classically designed, and I was looking to gain a uh, small space, particularly in my kitchen. So we did an extension out to the back and into the side return, with the ultimate aim being to get more uh, social space and also sp so I can kind of cook in the kitchen and have um, space for my children to watch TV whilst so basically all being together. So we've extended out of the back into the garden by a couple of meters and then into the into the side return. Um, we've also so my original sitting room we've taken probably about a third of that and converted that into a downstairs loo and a utility space. So I found out about Good Design and Build through uh, two of my neighbours who had successfully completed to project a uh, project each with them, um, both very happy with the outcome. Uh, so we spoke with Good Design and Build and a couple of other contractors uh, before going ahead with this. We well, personally, for me, um, was time poor. So the key thing about Good Design and Build was that they were linked between uh, the architect and the building company. So really, had I had one point of contact to speak to. Um, that was a huge part of it for me because I didn't want to be dealing with t a lot of different suppliers. Um, also, obviously, positive um, feedback and word of mouth from friends of mine is also a huge part of the process. And then also on cost, they came in, they weren't necessarily the cheapest, but they came in about mid-range from the other quotes I received. So initially I met with Amol from Good Design and Build. He came to the house and to get a good idea of what I wanted to achieve from the space that we had. Um, we then went through some options with the ground floor space um, and he did some drawings. Uh, initially I, so I gave him the go ahead on one set of drawings which I thought was right for the house. He then went through and got the um, plan of mission. But then after that, which is actually a key point for good design and build, I decided to change the plans because I wanted more height in the extension. So again, um, so Amol took care of changing the building, um, the designs, and also putting those through uh, for the correct regulations uh, to be passed through by the council. Um, it was great actually. I mean, it's always challenging, I think, doing a building project because of the upheaval of the house. But given that, um, I feel we've kind of come through it unscathed uh, the relationship is still very positive and I would highly recommend them. I think the key is that um, for me that you know there are certain challenges always with building work especially on these old houses but they were always there uh, there was always someone there to answer the phone there was always someone there to call around of course you're seeing the builder on a day-to-day -day basis but um, Amor was still contactable um, and was still there to help me. I think it's more just take the time before you start um, thinking about your space and how you want to plan it out because we live in a whole row of terraced houses but it's all very different as to what you can do with the space. Um, I'm amazed given that we, you know, the, the couple of meters we went out, I'm amazed at how much has transformed the way we live in our house in a very positive way. So I think it's more not rushing into it um, and taking your time with your planning and also how you're going to furnish and set out the space um, afterwards. I would say, it, I would highly recommend it. I feel that um, they're accountable. So I felt that, you know, even if things, you know, there's certain challenges I've mentioned, they're always there to help you um, along the way. And even afterwards, uh, we're still in touch should anything need tweaking or changes to be made. It's not as though they've just disappeared and they're not there to, to help me going forward. Um, so it's a very positive relationship, I'd say, from them.